hey guys welcome back to my channel easy motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this behance logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So as always here we are in adobe photoshop first now i have this behance logo file over here you can easily get this file from the internet now first thing first we need to crop this image so i'll press c on my keyboard to enable my crop tool and i'll bring this one over here like this and this one should be like this and simply hit enter like this and then press v to select your selection tool first then we will go to the select options and we will choose color range and with the help of this picker i am going to select this white color and fuzziness i am going to choose totally 200 and simply hit ok create a new layer and press alt backspace to apply this white color and hit ctrl d to deselect it so because of that all this thing is separately on the layer now uh, what we need to do i am going to select my rectangle tool and i'll select this e i'll hit ctrl x i'll create a new layer and i'll press ctrl shift v to paste in place like this then we will save this file as our my photoshop file like this and hit ok so now we have this uh, original image on the separate layer this b on the separate layer and this e on the separate layer like this okay so now we will proceed further for this animation in after effects so let's go to the after effects create a new composition first let's call this as main animation as always and width i'm going to choose 1920 height i'm going to choose 180 frame rate should be 30 second and duration we are not going to much more longer duration so i'll choose 20 seconds only and for the background color uh, choose not completely white but little bit grayish color and simply hit ok and hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on titles if action now press ctrl i on your keyboard to select your photoshop, photoshop file select this photoshop file go to the import as footage composition written layer sizes and simply hit import and simply hit ok now we will bring this file over here now initially we don't need to do anything with this file now i am going to choose my ellipse tool and in fill option with the help of this picker i am going to pick up this blue color and simply hit ok and then we will hide this layer as well as we will lock this layer also and by holding shift i am going to create one small ellipse like this after that select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this then select the shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and now i'm going to choose white color for this shape then i'll press s on my keyboard and i'll uh, decrease the size of this to 20 uh, not 20 but let's say 60 again select this hit ctrl d press s and let's make the size of this ellipse to 40 now this both of this are uh, white ellipse so i'm going to change the color of this ellipse because the animation of them are going to be uh, totally different so i'll lock hide this layers okay now we have to focus on this bluish spare so press y to select your pen behind tool and by holding ctrl i'll snap this anchor point at the bottom like this let's make this fit now select this shape layer press p for position and initially i'm gonna bring this ellipse out of this composition and create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around 20 frames and let's bring this downwards like this okay somewhere around over here and go to one second create another keyframe and in middle of that we will bring this over here now we will select those keyframes we will hit f9 we will go to the graph editor i'll select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here zoom in select this move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i hit play now i'll get this bounciness after that i am going to enable my white ellipse over here like this 
and for this one only i'll hit press ctrl k and instead of white background i'm going to choose black background so i can see my white thing properly over here after this animation i want this animation should start to run so i'll move this over here i'll press p for position i'll create one keyframe over here i'll go somewhere around over here and i'll bring the y position over here go over here and let's bring this totally up to here okay now uh, if i see this animation i'll get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this okay let's go over here and if you want then you can move this duration of this one over here also like this so let's see first this and then this now at this point when this white ball touching gonna touch this ellipse i want the scale of this ellipse should start to increase so i'll at this point i'll press s i'll create one keyframe i'll go few frame forward and i'll make this 150 or uh, it should touch this uh, middle line over here somewhere around over here i'll select those keyframes and i'll hit f9 i'll go to the graph editor i'll select this graph and by holding shift i'll adjust it over here okay so let's make this fit and let's see okay so if i see this animation i'll get this now after touching this point this uh, ball should bounce up over here and then it should come at this point okay so if i see this animation i'll get something like this now i'll select those keyframes by holding alt i can increase the duration of it and then i'll go to the graph editor i'll select this much portion and i'll hit f9 to adjust it properly then i'll select this hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here let's make this fit and let's see this animation now i'll get something like this now after that at this point i want this this third one should start to animate so i'll move this over here i'll press p one keyframe over here up to let's say 2.10 frames i'll create another keyframe and at this point it should be over here and at this point it should be over here like this select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i see this now first this okay let's move this a little bit upward select those keyframe let's uh, i think the duration is quite long so let's move this over here okay so at this point i want this should start to increase its scale again so i'll create one keyframe over here up to here it should gain its maximum scale value like this and these two should start to uh, bounce again so i'll select the second one i'll create one keyframe at the position of this one then somewhere around over here i'll select both of them and i'll bring them over here and along with the y position i'll also change the x position of this one over here and this one over here like this not completely but only at this point like this so if i see i'll get something like this and select uh, this this keyframes and hit f9 first uh, like this and at this point i want both of them should come downwards like this let's select this change the x position of this one over here and this one over here like this okay now we need to adjust the graph of this so i'll select both the keyframes but uh, initially select all this last two keyframes of this one and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes and now i'm going to select both the keyframes i'll go to the graph editor I'll select the graph of this by holding shift I'll adjust this handle over here by holding shift I'll adjust this handle over here okay so if I see this animation now I'll get something like this 
and we will select the scaling animation also and we will first hit f9 then we will adjust the graph like this okay so if i see this animation now i'll get this this then this now what we need to do i'll select both this white layers and i'll bring this after the shape layer now at this point i want the text of b and e should start to animate so i'll go inside this behance logo i'll select this two i'll hit ctrl c i'll go over here and i'll hit ctrl v and i'll bring this over here first like this right click new and create one null object select both of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and let's de increase the, decrease the size of this and adjust it properly at the center and let's delete this null object select both of them and let's move this over here hit page down button to go forward so as you guys can see we need to start to animate this from here so press p let's create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring this over here now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift and move this handle over here like this okay now select both of them i'll press ctrl shift c i'll call it as logo animation and hit ok alt open bracket now select this shape layer which is my blue color hit ctrl d bring this at the top select this logo animation and choose alpha map like this okay so if i see this animation i'll get this this and then this and also press ctrl y on your keyboard and select something like this hit ok hit ok and bring this backwards like this okay after that we need to add some small elements so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select my ellipse i'll delete this fill over here and in stroke for the color i'm going to choose this color only and simply hit ok by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align time align it horizontally align it vertically go to the start press s initially let's make this zero and create one keyframe go to around one second and let's increase the size of this go to the start and go inside the contents ellipse and stroke stroke width create one keyframe and hit u let's make initial uh, stroke width 100 go over here and let's make this zero select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph select this and holding shift move this over here like this now select the shape layer press f4 and convert this into 3d layer like this press r for rotation and we will rotate it on x axis like this and when this gonna touch the ground i want this thing to start animate so i'll move this over here and i'll bring this over here like this okay so let's make this chord resolution so it will run properly okay again select this hit ctrl d because it's gonna touch this ground again and select this go over here and at this point i'll decrease the scale okay so this is how we can create this behance logo animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned